Wow, kia ora and welcome to week number three. Can you believe we're here already? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, just as a quick recap, and, and this by this recap, I'm just going to sort of talk about three words, and not three words, there's more than three, so don't count them and, and call me out on that. <laughs> In the first week, we looked at what. And when we're looking at what, we we're asking you to analyse or to critique, to reflect on your own cultural construct. What is it that makes me who I am? Where does it come from? What's that meta-narrative? What's that discourse that informs who I am? And my sustainability worldview. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Don't leave me out on this oh, one. No, I'm not. No, okay. it's, uh, it's all included. It's okay. What is, this, what, what is my approach to sustainability? How does it work? That's right. <laughs> and, and, and week number two, we've looked at the so what. So what does this mean if I understand myself from this perspective, from this cultural perspective, from the sustainability perspective? ethic perspective what does it mean when i'm interacting with others mm. so what does this actually mean in the world actually i was just supposed to do the lead and i'm doing the whole thing now no keep going oh, okay good. i will sweet no, yes, yeah. great. Uh, <laughs> in week number three this week we're going to be look at the uh at the now what so that whole idea of what is it so what does it mean and what how do we now what what do we do about this stuff so who are we who is the other? How do we sort of understand how we interact with the other? Is that about right, Sarah? Is that yeah. what we're going to be looking at this week? That's no, great. It's great. Oh, cheers. <laughs> and the now what can also be really linked into practice. Mm, yeah. So it's one thing to expand your mind or to think about these concepts, and it's a whole other story to take action on it. Mm. Um, and action is really important. You know, because without action, our thoughts just stay in our head mm. uh, and and doesn't really get passed on. And that's not really in so much of the ethos, is it, of, yeah. of passing on that knowledge and, and wanting to make the place a better world, which I know all of you do. Mm. And that's what you're looking at this week, Sarah? Yeah. So um, I'm looking at how to implement this. And we're looking particularly at behaviour change because this is so often a, a sticky point in sustainability. Uh, you know, we've found that we can educate people on sustainability. People know that they should be doing X, Y, Z, mm. you know, not driving their cars or sorting out their rubbish or whatever it is. But when push comes to shove and you're tired and it's the end of the work day or it's raining, whatever it is, um, the behavior is not always shifting. Mm. It's, not all, it's not always implemented. And, and look, we're human, right? We all do this. And... Sometimes it causes a bit of um, cognitive dissonance mm. inside of ourselves of, I know what I should be doing, but this story I have in my head of what I should be doing and what I actually really want to be doing or what I am doing right now, like, is not quite matching up. Mm. Um, and so we're exploring what would increase those chances of people actually being able to take action mm. um, in a, in, with a lot of integrity and we're going to link this back into values you know going back to that question of like well it comes down to caring you know and it does come down to caring and there still needs to be something else like an internal motivator driving it so that when you look out the window and it's raining and you look at your car and you look at your bike you're still willing to take the bike you know because of understanding how you fit into that bigger system or that bigger picture because it no longer just becomes about you. You take the car. <laughs> That's what you were thinking, no? no. <laughs> I'm using that as an example because it's raining and I'm cycling home. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, this, is, this comes down to, like, how important is it for you? And really, we can start to answer that question when it links into the core of who we are, which is our values. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we're exactly. going to explore a few other things in there, but that's, that's at the heart of it. Mm. And essentially this week, when we're looking at the, you know, at, the, at the now what, what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be talking about is how, A, we looked at the what of what makes up our cultural construct and our sort of ideas of the world, the universe and everything, how we see the other, another person's cultural construct, how we actually want to get rid of a binary opposition, a dichotomy, that these two things may seem like they're poles apart, uh, but how we want to, with the now what, how we want to join or understand the meeting place of those two cultural constructs and build something new and exciting. So that idea of this is my culture, I understand who I am and where it comes from. I now see the other and I understand who they are and where they come from. 
but what are the similarities that sit between these two things and dot 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 actually I don't want to give the whole show away this is all I've got you hear this a few times because it, it literally is but we'll talk about this thing here yeah and that's me <laughs> so I guess as a sum up what we're really trying to say is like I mean, in a very short amount of time, in a couple of weeks, we've opened up Pandora's box. Hopefully you've been thinking about things from different perspectives, challenging yourself, challenging the world around you. And then probably faster than what I would like, we've moved into, so what does that mean and how do we start to put that into applicational practice? Um, and so hopefully that starts to give you a few answers and knowing that this is a lifelong journey. And that cycle of what, so what, now what is a circle for a reason. And it keeps going round and round and round and round. And as soon as we kind of figure out what we think we know and then what we do, we realise that we reflect again and we go, oh, what? Hang on a second. What, what am I doing again? So, and that's, that's the beauty of life if we really take on that mindset. And that's, that's the growth mindset. That's Hakuna Matata. <laughs> is, that, is that what it is? I know. That's, that's a different story, isn't it? <laughs> the circle of life. Yeah. I will go this time. <laughs> Catch right. you later. Thank you. <laughs>